And today we are actually going to be taking that baby sloth and teaching it how to climb trees. Oh! Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's oh, 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 oh yeah. The little baby sloth just climbed right out onto my arms. We're gonna start her off on one of these smaller, thin branches right over here. The little baby sloth is on the branch. She was just put on there and you, she's just kind of getting the hang of it. This is one of the first times that she has been up here on the branch. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well, I'm about to head over to ZWF Miami and as you guys saw a couple videos ago, there was a baby sloth born at the zoo. And today we are actually going to be taking that baby sloth and teaching it how to climb trees. Now sloths, they are natural climbers, but it is also kind of an acquired skill. Just like us humans, when we're born, we're not born walking, we kind of have to learn how to do that so the little baby sloth is gaining confidence he's getting bigger so we are going to be taking him off of the mom we're going to be teaching him how to climb today it's going to be absolutely amazing so if you guys want to see a baby sloth learn how to climb well guys you are in the right place and we're going to go hop in the truck right now and head over to zwf miami one hour later guys we just got over here to zwf miami we've been here a lot for a bunch of different videos and today's video like i was telling you guys before is going to to be teaching the little baby sloth how to climb trees but before we actually do that the little sloth is actually sleeping right now we're here in our flamingo and pelican area and with some of our big cats here so we've got some fish right here and we're gonna head inside right now with the flamingos with the pelicans and we're gonna see if the pelicans want to eat some smelt fish all of our pelicans here actually are rescued pelicans that were in marine accidents and guys we're gonna head in now and check them out guys look at one of our pelicans flying right there so all of these pelicans were in some sort of a marine accident and they were deemed non-releasable so that means they cannot be re-released back into the wild now, I know the water looks a little dirty, but it has been windy, and with the sun, the water turns this color within two days of cleaning it. This water was literally crystal clear a day and a half ago. Guys, you want some fish? They're gonna try to eat some fish right now. Toss up. Almost got it. Oh! So this is one of our rescued pelicans right here. He's in the water. We're gonna try to feed him. He's taking off. This guy can't fly too well. He's the one that doesn't fly. Well, those pelicans and flamingos are pretty spooky. They're actually really scared of us. So instead of actually feeding them, we're gonna feed the big cat's fish. Have you guys ever seen a lion and a tiger actually have some fish? Well, if you haven't, today is your lucky day. We're gonna go under here right now. We're gonna feed them some fish. Hi there, kids. Hello, hello, hello. You guys want some good fish? Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, have a piece. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's some good stuff. Here you go, here you go. Mm -hmm. Yummy, 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 yummy. These cats are just absolutely loving it. Hey, Kahinda, you already got one. We gotta give him Bali a piece. And we gotta give the other girl. You got one, she got one. Now we gotta wait for her. Hey, hey, girl, come on. Come on, up, up, up. Guys, look at these cats. These are go cats are going crazy for some fish right here. Look at those big old lion claws. Absolutely huge. Look at the claws. I mean, if they wanted to, they could really mess you up. Come on. Hi, hey, hey, hey. Here, you get a piece. You get a piece. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah, that's some good stuff. That's some good stuff. You want to lick me? You want to lick me? Oh, that's some yummy stuff. Look at that. Look at that lick right there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, look at the cats right now. They are loving the fish. They want some. You want some fish juice? You want some fish juice? Lick the bars. Lick the bars. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We are out of fish. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go head over to the warehouse right now. We're going to make a nice little fruit and veggie bowl, and then we're going to go Get the little baby sloth out and teach him how to climb trees. We've got our bowl of food right here and we are getting ready to enter the sloth enclosure. Now we have some kale right here. Kale is one of the healthier greens, full of good vitamins. We have some strawberries and some hard boiled egg. Believe it or not, the sloths like the hard boiled egg. They love it, it's got good nutrition for them. So we're gonna head in there. You guys have seen the sloths, you know, a couple of weeks ago on the channel, but now the sloth is bigger, hits way more active, and we're gonna teach her how to climb today. She should come right out of her barrel onto my arms. We'll be able to put her around the branches. But first, we're gonna see the dad up top right there, and we're gonna try to coax him out of his barrel. We've got to get our trusty ladder to get up top there because otherwise we'd have to climb the enclosure. We're not going to do that. We're just going to climb up there and I'm going to try to coax him out with a delicious strawberry right here. We're going to go up top right now. We're going to bring him out. Hi there. Hey, how you doing? So because it's winter here in South Florida, we've got these heat lamps right here and the sloths will kind of hang there at night and they'll stay nice and warm. Oh my gosh, I almost fell down. Hi there, buddy. Oh my gosh, guys, you guys got to see this right here. Look at this little guy right here. You want a strawberry, buddy? Oh my gosh, that just smells so good, doesn't it? That is a very good, that's a very good strawberry. Oh, 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 come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh yeah. 
Look at this guy. He is just going to hang out in his barrel. He's eating the strawberry right now. He is just absolutely loving it. Look at this guy. Now, sloths are very slow eaters, and he's just chowing down on the strawberry. It's cool out here, especially in the barrel. I can feel that it's cool. So he's definitely going to be a little slower than normal. Hi there, buddy. Hi. We're moving over. We're going to the mom and her baby. And if you look at her right now, the mom is looking out. She already knows what time it is. She knows She knows we've got some treats for her. We're just gonna plop our ladder right here. Hi there, mom. Hi. You want a strawberry? You've been a very good mom for the past couple weeks. You want that? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff. That's some real taste of good stuff. We've got Sid the Sloth chowing down on a strawberry. And here's the little baby. He's getting to be just so big. Hi there, little guy. Oh my gosh. Now, everyone, I think in the last video, I told everyone to comment down below a little name for him. Well, guys, I have not forgotten about it yet, but I want to get round two of names for him. So, guys, we haven't named the little baby sloth yet, so go right now and make sure to go comment down below a little name for the sloth. If we like the name, we're going to choose you, and you're going to get shouted out in the next video or two, and you'll get to name the little baby sloth. So, it's a pretty cool opportunity for you guys. And we've got Mama. She wants more food, but we want your baby. Come here. Come here. Hello. Hello. Here, you want a sweet potato stick? You want that? No? You, you don't like that? You only want strawberries? Oh, you want... Okay, here you go. There you go. The little baby sloth just climbed right out onto my arms as I gave her some kale. Now, we're just going to have her just on me right now. But, guys, have you seen a sloth this tiny and this cute right here? Look at how adorable she is. This sloth right here is just so tiny. Look at this little face right here. We've got the tiny baby sloth right here, and of course, we've got to train her to climb. We're gonna start teaching her to climb. Now, in order to get her to become a good climber, she's gonna have to develop muscle and actually start to climb. So we're gonna start her off on one of these smaller, thin branches right over here. And what's really cool about this is by having a relationship with the mom, she actually trusts us to take her baby. She's just there right now, chowing down on some kale, and she doesn't mind that we're just holding her baby for her for just a little bit of time. I mean, this baby is adorable. So we're gonna take the little baby right over here to some branches. And we're just gonna take the baby right up on here. We're gonna start her on the thin branch. As you guys can see, she's got an incredible grip with her little two toes right there. And again, these are two toed sloths and you also have three toed sloths. Look at this right here. The little baby sloth is on the branch. She was just put on there and you can see how they use their nails to cling. Now she's just hanging out right here on the tree and she's just kind of getting the hang of it. This is one of the first times that she has been up here on the branch. Now she's been away from her mom for a little bit, so it is her natural instinct to actually call for the mom. But luckily here comes mom. Mom heard the cry and she's coming right now. So the baby right now, is this is her first time up in the tree and we're gonna see the mom actually come and reunite with her. Now at this age in the wild is when they would just start to, to move just a little bit away from the mom, just very small and slightly because she still doesn't have all of her muscle developed right here. Look, guys, look at this right now. The little baby has gotten back to the mom. She's moving on to the mom. Shh, the mom came for her and that is amazing. You've been such a great mom. Here you go, have a good strawberry. That's some good stuff right there. That's a yummy strawberry. Sid was being just an incredible sloth right there and it just shows you when the babies are separated from the mom and they start crying the moms will will stop at nothing to get to their baby and make sure they are safe and sound we're gonna come and see if the little baby wants just a little bit of kale you want some kale Sid is taking great care of her baby right now the baby is sleeping she's just kind of hanging out right here and I honestly I like sloths I never really like loved them some people are absolutely obsessed with them but after hanging out with this little baby right here, I can say that I am now officially obsessed with sloths. Guys, that is going to end today's episode. We're going to leave Sid and her baby here to just go back to sleep in their barrels because they're lazy animals. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to go give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to go comment down below a name for this little baby sloth. And, guys, if you are not subscribed already, you enjoy the content, you want to see more baby sloths, you want to see otters, tigers, lions, monkeys, all kinds of crazy animals. Well, what are you waiting for, guys? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell. And you you all will be notified whenever I post.